I have some questions related to the traditional practices that are being followed. So, Doctor, my seniors, they tell me at home that I should take dhuvi or dhua by keeping sigri or heat generating object below my bed. Is it necessary? And if yes, how does it help? So, this tradition or this practice came in vogue. I will tell you some background about this. Now, previously, many of the deliveries used to be conducted at home, you know, by traditional dyes or by unqualified people. And at home delivery, there are many complications used to happen. Sometimes some patient used to, you know, have bleeding or infection and maybe even they used to have a lot of morbidity and some people used to have, you know, mortality also. So because of this fear of infection, you know, the elderly people, the previous people, they thought, that why not to give something which will control infection. So what they think by giving Sigri sake or these heat generating objects, they feel that the organisms will not uh, reach the patient and the patient will be saved from infection. Okay. But now today with modern facilities available, we are conducting deliveries in antiseptic, antiseptic and aseptic precautions and we use antibiotics to cover the uh, time of infection delivery so the infection rate is very very low so these type of things are not required to prevent infection now comes the question of preventing body ache and backache mm -hmm. because after delivery the patient is likely to get body ache and backache they may feel exhausted and tired and fatigued so for that you know what i will recommend is you can have your uh, correct posture then your calcium intake in the diet milk intake in the diet which will give you calcium protein intake in the diet adequate rest and sleep all these things will help you to avoid this uh, problem of backache and body suppose a part of your body is giving you trouble or pain suppose you are having low back pain you can have you know hot water fermentation or hot back massage or fermentation at that particular area so that will help you to recover from that problem of low backache. How about my body massage after delivery? Right. It's a very good question, you know, because traditionally people have been recommending uh, body massage, especially they wanted the patient to have oil massage. You know, I'll uh, tell you how massage helps. If anybody is exhausted or tired, so massage helps to reduce your fatigue and you know help your body to feel energetic and fresh you may get good sleep but it is not a must that you have to have it anybody in your house or family even he or other family member can help you with massage you need not use uh, you know oil for that even gentle massage with your hands also will help okay, okay. for breast massage the massage has to be done in a circular fashion that will improve your breast milk secretion if you want to use oil, you can use uh, coconut oil or you can use sesame oil that is steel ka tel, mm -hmm. naril ka tel. So you can use even powder, talcum powder for massage. So massage will help you in this way. Uh, it doesn't strengthen the bones or it doesn't, you know, reduce the fat on your body. Thank you so much. How about my baby's body massage? Will it make his bones strong? Which oil should I use for my baby's body massage? Okay, so the same theory applies over here. As far as massage is concerned, you know, the baby also feels exhausted or tired. So the baby also may, be, may feel fresh and energetic if you give the massage. But it is not a must that you have to do it. Okay, in hot weather or summer, you should avoid using oil for massage, you know. Okay. The oil is, uh, you know, it blocks the uh, sweat gland pores and therefore you know the baby may have rash or you know red red papules over the body if you use in summer the oil for, for massage okay so you can uh, use uh, any oil you know, branded oil or even household oil you can use if you want to use or you can use uh, powder also for giving massage to your baby so gentle massage you can do this massage is not for making the bone strong or making increase the baby's weight or something or make the baby strong 
but they help definitely if the baby is tired baby will feel fresh energetic and will have probably some good sleep okay, okay. thank you so much doctor is belly binding necessary how does it help yes yes so this is a very uh, common traditional thing you know all the mothers and mother in laws will uh, ask you to do that you know yes. they, they they take a big sari or cloth and they tie around the tummy you know what they feel that the belly becomes loose so by tying this sari or cloth it will become tight so the thing is that once you tie it you when you tie it you feel it is tight huh. but once you release or leave it the, again the muscles become loose means they they are loose that is just a temporary you know uh, satisfaction to your brain that something is tightening your belly okay so it is scientifically it doesn't help okay on the contrary if you go for you know uh, you go for core muscles abdominal muscle exercises because your recti muscles have gone apart during pregnancy doing core muscles will bring them in the midline close to each other and therefore the diversification of recti will go and you will have the recti muscles uh, core uh, muscle exercises will help you more than binding belly binding okay mainly. so we should exercise and not bind <laughs> okay thank you so much this helps basically do uh, doctor i just want to ask like what are the basic restrictions imposed after the delivery like few people says like elderly persons parents they say don't keep her below the ac don't keep this fan on too fast or let's say don't allow her to read a book or uh, watch a tv laptop or screen bang like what uh, she should not uh, work so much what is your view like what should we do in this kind of scenario yeah so it's a very good question commonly asked question you know like uh, people feel that some air will enter from the ear or from some other body orifices and it will go to the uterus and it will bloat the woman and woman will become fat or something like that some traditional thoughts are there in the mind of those elderly people but it is not true scientifically it is not true in the ear there is proper ear drum provided by god so nothing no air can enter from ear other body orifices also the air doesn't enter and even if it enters it will enter in those other compartments means it will, air will go into the lungs at the moment it will go to the stomach but the air cannot go to the uterus or inside the abdomen and bloat the woman okay so these things are not correct fine so people say that air because of air the patient will become obese or fat it is not because of that the woman becomes obese after delivery only by eating high calorie foods like methi laddus and dimka laddus and all those things shira and ghee jaggery sugar all these things make the woman you know obese and then they ask the patient to remain in the bed for 42 days not to do daily activities not to do exercises so lack of exercises and over intake of calories make the woman obese not the entry of air from any orifices as they claim so there is no need to worry depending upon the climate if it is summer you have to switch on the fan or even the air conditioning keep the temperature to a comfortable level not too much cold not too much hot also climate should be you know we can have we have these gadgets for our benefit these things will certainly help to maintain proper hydration apart from you know fluid intake water intake climatic room control clim control conditions because of by using ac or fan you can control body temperature and also baby's temperature and also it will help in you know proper hydration maintaining proper hydration so yes as and when required you can switch on the fan and the ac as far as your question about you know allowing screen time and watching tv laptop, laptop mobile you know these things are allowed it doesn't reduce the eyesight of a lady who has delivered it should be you know allowed for a, a limited period of time not for any other reason but the lady should not feel fatigue you know suppose uh, she is doing work on the laptop office work for hours together she will feel exhausted because of that so that is why limited period of time should be allowed not that it will reduce the eyesight or something 
you know so two hours before retiring to bed you must stop this electronic gadget so that you can go to bed at on time and have proper sleep because your sleep is going to be disturbed by baby who is going to make you wake up and ask for fees every two or three hours in the night time okay thank you so much this helps much for answering and now i have more clear idea on what should i do and what should i not so yes and taking care of the baby yes. and you know, breast milk related so many queries you yes. think probably this discussion has probably helped you really yes so all the best wishes thank you thank you so much wish you all the best thank you